So I think the Houston janitors, which are majority immigrant workers, uh, show once again when workers come together, when they unite, when they fight together, they can make the changes uh, they are seeking. But especially when you're being told that nothing is possible, it's in a, it, for Houston janitors, these are immigrant workers, and they keep saying, and it's the South, you can organize immigrant workers, you can organize janitors, you can organize low-wage workers. It had been shown that, yes, when workers come together, when they unite with their community, when unite with co-workers and their families, things are possible. And I think especially for, for uh, this, we, we're talking about a big problem. We have a very, very big income inequality. And Houston is, is the, the example of that. And I think this was a very important just to put the face of what it looks like. And at the same time, I think with the victory of the janitors, it shows that we can, we can transform something. Obviously, it's, it's one little step, it's one little example, but I think it's very important that um, you know, we are getting active, we are uniting, we're, we're, we're uh, joining together in a movement to make the changes that we are looking for. We need to have an economy that works for everyone, not just for the few, not just for the, the multi-million dollar people and the big corporation. We are gonna fight for it and we're gonna to continue to work together as, as, as a communities and as a families and as John to make the change that we want. First of all, the, the employers and the companies are global companies. And we have to, in order to um, fight them, we have to join together globally. That's the way it is. Aside from that, we are part of a big, we have the same visions. We want a better life for, for workers and their families. We want, want a better future for everybody. If we work for the same employers, we can make the changes together. And especially when we're looking at, at like in the, these two days, it's been just inspiring to see like how we're talking the same. We are the same. We are the labor movement. And if they are joining together, these multinationals, we are joining together as a global movement. And we're gonna make the changes to, to, to see the world that we want, where every worker is respected, and its value and is rewarded for their hard work. We want to make sure that you, when you work hard, you should be able to make a living, a good living. You should be able to give your, your family, your kids a decent life and a better future. And you should be able to re retire with dignity. So I think it's something that we can all accomplish together. We have the numbers. We're more than them. I think, you know, we do have the, the, the we have the strength and we have the power to really break through, and we are breaking through. We are moving together. We, we, we not only have the passion and the conviction, but we have the plan and we have the strategy, and with breaking through, we're gonna get there. So the janitors were uh, fighting for, they were negotiating the contract. The employers came together, the cleaning companies, they joined together, and they, they uh, saw the moment to break the union. They saw the moment to just destroy the little gains that they have made and they, to take away their collective voice. So the workers in one month, they went on strike. They took the courage to say no more. And this is not an easy place to be. Houston is Houston. is Houston. It's the South, it's a very difficult uh, city. But workers joined together, they, they joined with the community, with po political allies with global partners and everywhere. Their support was tremendous. And they were able to win the, their contract. They were able to settle for, for a wage increase. And they kept their union, they kept their voice, they kept their, their strength.